All right. Let's do it. Oh, Wednesday night, and I have been waiting to actually do this the right way. So first and foremost, I'm going to delete the old one. We're going to pretend it did never happen. Hope everybody's having a good Wednesday night tonight. <clears throat> yeah, so we're going to go ahead and delete that. And delete this one right here. And that's my offline franchises. And we are going to go ahead and start this one as a cloud franchise here. I do have to do one thing real quick I forgot to do. What? Okay. Okay. Anything else? All right. And we're going to start a new cloud stream. Got like one more thing. Sorry about that. Thought I had everything pulled up. I need to, I guess not. See, so yeah, I was going to do it. Dogs are in there. All right, let's do. Oh no, no, we don't want to continue my last one. I want to create a new one because they don't. I'll be right back here. Sorry about that.
All right, sorry about that. And we shall go play as the Packers. Start your season with recommended settings. If yeah, we do want to do that. Or adjust and league options, settings. Use the all pro. On the left. Yeah, we'll do all pro again. Not all Madden. That was ridiculous. Quarter length. All that looks good. I don't need tutorial pop-ups anymore. Don't need to fill roster. I don't want auto progress on, so we'll go with those settings right there. And we're going to go ahead and start playing. Who do you want to develop? Billy Tremont? Yeah, we're going to end the conversation. But we will go ahead and adjust and put all the rookies and do all the changes we made it the first time. We got to have Kevin King start with us with Jair. We got to have that happen. Uh, let's do this. And we're going to do Kevin King and Jair Alexander. I'm going to try to trade Tremont again. Um, obviously, I want Jair as the number one receiver because I want Josh Jackson in the slot. He's got the speed to do it. And then if we look at free safety, I mean, we got Darnell Savage, who's going to be superstar dev most times. And then we got Adrian Amos. Now, I'll tell you what, we'll leave Tremont just so we have a little bit of depth at corner. But he's not somebody I'm going to really do a lot for. And I'm not going to sign Antonio Brown with this one. I want to look for relatively reasonable signings. I'm not going to sign Dez. We'll take Kaliki. Could possibly sign Eric Berry for some death. death. Antonio Gates, nah, I'm good. Could bring Nick Perry back, probably not. Could bring Mo back, probably not though. I wanna look at the roster one more time. Yeah, so let's look at that defense. What do we have really, I mean? Really, I mean, we could we put Rashawn Gary at defensive end? Because Rashawn Gary, I want starting. Uh, I really want to start as many of the young guys as we can. Uh, probably go ahead and do special teams and let's make... Probably make um, slot corner. We, I want is Josh Jackson. Uh, the rest of this looks pretty good. I think we probably. I'd like to get another good run stopper on that D line. I mean, Montrevious Adams is going to be good. Maybe get Mo. Thinking probably about bringing Mo Wilkerson back. But we'll see on that. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, let's look at actually what defensive ends we have available first. Uh, defensive tackle, really none. William Hayes. Oh, actually Mo Wilkerson is a defensive end. I thought he was a defensive tackle. And yeah, let's definitely bring Mo back one more year and he can start. I think he would have been good last year, but if he hadn't got hurt. But the 2018 Packers season was rough. Um, anybody else that we really want? Trevor Williams, maybe, but we're so stacked at corner. I think we're going to stay good at corner. Mason Foster. Who is my second linebacker? Possibly. We'll see if he's available by the time it's said and done. DJ Swearinger. 
I think we're gonna pretty much stick with the roster we have here. Uh, let's see. Uh, and I also want to make sure Rogers does not see the field in the regular season. We can't risk that at all. Yeah, let's bring in a camp arm at quarterback, actually, just so we explicitly have that. Uh, yeah, Andrew Luck, the camp arm. Um, Brock Osweiler. Let's bring in Cardell Jones, give him a shot. He's in the XFL now, so maybe he can make something before the XFL gets going. Uh, let's see. So let's go ahead and put Rogers third string. Just hopefully I remember to put him back. Got Vitaly. Hey, I knock it off, you two. Hey, Boone, Siri. Leave it. Snuff. Yeah, I love the dogs. Ladies and gentlemen. All right. And let's go ahead and play the preseason game. No, we're not going to play it, actually. Yeah, we'll play one preseason game. Just to see what everybody can do. And we'll skip training in the regular season. I just want to see kind of really what we are looking at depth. So I think we probably will play one. And we'll just kind of judge it from there. See how we do. Appreciate everybody for tuning out tonight. Sorry we had a little bit of difficulty there in the beginning. Had to put it on Be Right Back real quick. Hey everybody, it's the coach. This is preseason football on EA. And we come to you from one of the truly iconic stadiums in the NFL. As you get All a look right. at Lambeau Field here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Tonight, it's a preseason matchup between the Houston Texans and the Green Bay Packers. Here we got Smith coming. Oh, nope. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. Got it. Oh, okay. Actually, yeah, just never show me the booths. I don't want to see them anyway. All right, so Boyle's getting the start here with the with the first teamers, and we got Valdez Scantling. That was a terrible throw. That was meant for X, and he has no accuracy whatsoever. Not 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 really increasing your chance to make a roster when you make throws like that. Oh, that was my bad. I got baited on that route. That wasn't on him. That's all right. Not uh, not the good way to start the preseason here. All right, let's get in that zone. Start looking for checkdowns. Really, just try not to make mistakes with the ball. Just see what we have here. Yeah, good drop by Jimmy Graham. Kind of come to expect that. The defense for Houston. Uh, let's say let's take a shot downfield. A little bit is one of the better cover corners in the league, but his team knows his value. He can lock up good receivers. They try to throw on second Man. down, but this one is incomplete. Now, Boyle's not having a good start to the game here. Let's let Aaron Jones get a shot here. And they've got the box stack. Thank you, Jimmy Graham. I really don't want to use Aaron Jones a whole lot. I want to try, obviously, preseason keep everybody as healthy as I can. I do want to make sure he gets to stretch his legs a little bit. Aaron Jones, good run there. Aaron Jones has got some speed. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Bringing Jamal Williams in, get that one-two punch going. That's a great one-two punch we got. Do a little read option. Ooh! Yeah, we're going for it. Every now and then, just absolutely outguess yourself. Third and inches, and they decide not to run the ball. You end up seeing the end result. The end result was not good. They elect to pass. Let's see what this. Box. I guarantee you, the left side's gonna pass rush here. Oh no, guess not. Well, we tried. That's all good. 
Uh, I do want to see what the defense can do. I just, I'm not going to play this whole game. I just kind of want to get a feel for what we have with the starters. Before we actually start playing for real. There you go. Good play, good play. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. And as a first rounder, a lot of eyes on him, a lot of expectations. And he has to play well in his rookie year. Oh. Ah. There we go. At least we're making tackles. When you're drafted in the first round, they expect you to play right away. And the community. Same thing that we found out. We found out about the Packers this season is we're just so weak against the run. That really needed an infusion of youth. They got a very good infusion of youth. There we go, good play. Slow developing plays like that, I hate. I want to, I want to make sure we can get to the passer. I want to make sure we get a good chance to hit Watson, get him ready for the season. Oh, good pick, good pick. That's a pick six. I don't know who this is. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Didn't even mean to do it. All right, I think that's enough. We'll go ahead and uh, super sim the game out here. Get ready for the get through the rest of the season. I just wanted to get a good little, at least a taste of what we had coming up for. See what this team can do. So we'll wait for that to come. Looks like we got a couple guys watching, lurking out here. Appreciate you guys uh, joining us. I don't know what platform you're on. So we're gonna go ahead and wait for that to spawn. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And when you break it down, you know, this was just a thoroughly dominating performance. And I truly thought that we'd have a tight game coming into this one. I think Sorry for all the background noise. I don't know if you guys can hear the dogs the sitting here meeting. playing in the background but or not, but I know they're the they're crazy. And how about just how it broke open? You know, you just all of a sudden whoosh, there all it is. Right. This thing is pretty much let's done. Get, uh, let's get going here. I wanna I just wanna see. I think we can get some dev. Especially through the season, but good home preseason win. Get Kenny Clark. Damn, Kenny Clark can really do both. I'm gonna need. We're so weak against the run. I really need him to still continue to be the point man for that and stop the run. Ryan Grant. I'll let him route run. Everybody else, I think we're really good. So let's go ahead and advance. Get ready to go. Bulaga wants to mentor the rookie Elkin Jenkins. Uh, let's definitely get pass blocking. Um, gotta keep A Rod safe. Uh, let's see. Power. I don't know what he is, but we'll do we'll do power because I think he's a guard. So obviously he's gonna he's gonna get bull rush a lot. Do we have any, we're not worried about that. Go to upgrade players. All right, next season, next week. Let's check in. Held up in pass protection. He was all over his blitz alerts. I don't think he gave up a single sack. Keeps getting back better. That's good, good. I'm glad Bulaga took him under his wing. If you can teach him not to get hurt, that'd be great. This is Tim Boyle's offense. I'm just the insurance. That's fine. What? Yeah, I meant to the starting quarterback then. Uh, yeah. Let's do throwing under pressure. Cool. Roger's thinking he's the uh, the insurance. That's funny. Oh, let's see. All right. And we got to cut four players. So I think we are going to go, obviously, cut the... Is Cardell Jones worth it on the practice squad? And the answer is really no, he's not. Have fun in the XFL. And then Curtis Bolton, or Will Redman. 
we'll put Colt Curse Bolton on the on the practice squad. And it is week four, so I think we're gonna go ahead and adjust and let Rogers uh, Rogers play out this game here. Is there not a way I can just auto reorder the depth chart? Because it's probably gonna be right the way we do that. Uh, apparently not. There it is, depth chart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to auto reorder and the only thing I really want to do different is I want to change my slot corner to Josh Jackson Because he's got the speed And let's go ahead and do One more advance And then we'll start treating the season like normal see what we can do here Start season goal our season goal is we are going to at least make it to the playoffs I won't commit to the Super Bowl Oh, Khalil Mack. What do we want to do about Khalil Mack? We want to move the ball. We have to figure out how to handle Khalil Mack, especially on third down. Um, I mean, Khalil Mack's going to pass rush, and he's going to pass rush hard. We got to slow him down. We can't afford to lose sight of him. Do you think he's jarred the ball loose or he's innocent to pass? Yeah, I definitely agree. Yeah, so beat. So we just have to have fewer turnovers, which we can do with Rodgers. We'll be real smart with the ball there. I mean, Khalil's really more of a pass rusher than he is anything. Jair's got an upgrade. That's good. We'll keep doing man-to-man -man on him. Which we're a really big man-to-man -man team anyway, so that works out perfect. Jamal Williams is a power back. I don't really want him to be a lucid back. He's got a role he's meant to touch on... Uh, Compliment Aaron Jones. Darnell Savage, who I think is going to be a uh, monster for us. Good coverage. And he's saying we got to play 500 down to unlock his potential. That's fine. Same thing with Aaron Jones or Rashawn Gary, who is a monster power rusher who's going to get some snaps this season. I'll make sure he gets subbed in and out. Blake Martinez, uh, field general. I think he deserved more than a 72 overall. I mean, he led the he led Green Bay in tackles last year. But fine, he's got star development. Josh Jackson, let's go ahead and let's see. Yeah, we need him to get better at the slot. He's just a really well-rounded corner. I think that's really what we need to keep him with. Tyler Lancaster. That's fine. I think he's my... He won't see the field a whole lot besides certain sets, so I'm not super worried about that. Kumaro, um... Yeah, I would like Kumaro to get better at his routes, that's for sure. And he's a 70 overall, so that's good. Uh, anybody else I actually care about about? No, not really. Um, Jair Alexander, new ability, what'd he get? Um... He's got man up, so defenders with disability play tighter coverage and focus force. Okay, that's good. That's a lot of how Jair plays. And we just got to get something for his X-Factor now, which is great. Um, What else do we want to do? How else do we want to do this? So we got Rogers playing. Let's take a look at free agents. Let's see. Does anybody really... Oh, we could bring back Richard Rogers, maybe, but I think uh, I think we're really happy with who we got. I do want to go back and see who got Antonio Brown and who got uh, easiest way to do that. Let's get a trade. I just want—I'm not gonna make a trade right now. I'm gonna try to keep this one a little bit realistic, but I do want to see who got uh, first. Who got Andrew Luck? Broncos—they always get him. And who got Antonio Brown? Uh, let's see who got Antonio Brown who took the risk on that basket case is it not DJ Moore not Tyrell Willie Sneed Michael Thomas the Seahawks Steelers nope god I really wish we could get Juju but there's no way in hell they'll let him go uh, oh no that's not good. Wow, the Vikings are stacked at wide receiver. That's not good. All right. 
Well, that's gonna be a fun game this week. Let's go ahead and start the weekly training, and this is where I really, really, really want to uh, make sure we are working our young guys here. We gotta keep working uh, Kevin King. We gotta get him up to speed, and I think Darnell Savage. Elkton Jenkins, what's his... We got to work these defensive backs because they're our future. I think Jair is so far ahead. So really we need to make sure we're working the defensive backs. And I think probably, yeah, the linebackers. We want to make sure Rashawn Gary's getting developed. So we'll probably just do a cover two man, which is what I plan to play a lot of this season. And then on offense, we have such a young receiving crew that I really would like to see. Is there something that... Is there an offensive line? Maybe uh, wide receivers and tight ends on the drive. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be our best bet. So, we'll try that out. Come on. Yeah, it wasn't good enough. Probably because we didn't practice yesterday. I know, I know how to throw the ball. Let's skip that. All right, let's complete the pass. All right, cool. Pass completed. That's easy enough. Oh, this is an easy Astro. Ooh, good catch, good catch, good catch. MBS is going to have a breakout year with us. This is for all the marbles. This is for gold. Good catch, Jimmy. Easy gold. Easy gold right there. Man, that was great. I mean, you had a great day today. The game is really starting to slow down for you, isn't it? So it's Aaron Rodgers. The game's been slowed down, dude. Good job. <laughs> Neat. All right, I understand how cover two man works. And we know the routes that they're going to take too, usually. So we're just really going to try to protect the middle of the field here. Good play, Smith. Good play. There you go. Good play. Don't let him run it. Ah, uh, who was on him? Sorry, he didn't get it. It's not over just yet. Good play, good play, good play. Oh, good sack, good sack. Who got him? 95. Dean Lowry? He's a big boy. You guys got to make that tackle. Come on. Fourth and goal. All right. Get the stop right here. He didn't get it. Oh, man. We actually got to get one more on him. Come on, guys. Oh, you guys can't do that. All right. Let's try it one more time. Do one restart. I got to get this defense developments on track. Problem is you have Aaron Rodgers who is going to who's going to pick you apart. Yeah, 
There you go. Good play. Good play. Wow. What are you guys doing? That was bond me. I need to stop using turbo. I keep overshooting the receivers. No, are killing me. All right, one more try. We got this. I'm going to try just edge rush. Really try to get a... Uh... What does it want from me? <laughs> I mean, I get the edge and he just checks it down. It's Aaron Rodgers. I hate that they play lights out in practice every time. I keep trying to take away the check down, but nobody else on my team is actually going to try to do anything. Uh, wow, Blake. All right, you know what? Fine. We're just going to run it out. We're just going to try for silver. We're just going to try for silver here. Good play. Good play. Good play. See how ran his blockers there. Let's do it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <sighs> wow. We're not even going to be able to get silver because it's Aaron Rodgers. I mean, I'm, I'm predicting routes. I'm doing literally everything it wants me to do. Good play. Good play, Smith. Jimmy Graham's gonna get it. Siri, leave it. Alright, I'm gonna have to put the dogs up. They're not gonna calm down, apparently. Hang on. Go lay down. You know what I need to do? I need to just start baiting them. That's exactly what I need to do. There we go. There we go. Good drop. Good drop. Good drop. Good play. Good play. Pick it, pick it. Yeah, good play, Savage. Good play. 21 Savage over here. Actually, what he wanted to change his number. We're going to change his number to 21. I think I'm going to have to start hit sticking. That's 100% what I'm going to have to do. Good play. Starting to get it now. Gotta rely on those Smith brothers. And the sack. Hell yeah. Two more, two more, two more. Oh, 
Wow. All right. Big run give up there. That's all right. Get him, get him, get him. Good hit. I hope nobody ever hits Aaron Rodgers like that. Now, see, I was baiting the screen. Of course, when I'm baiting the screen, pressure gets there. Pick it, Smith. All right, here we go, right here. There we go. Gold, gold, gold. Good play, boys. Good play. Let's take that and let's play these bears. Let's play these bears. It's going to be a good time. Start the season off right. And let's do it. Khalil Mack, Eddie Jackson, Kyle Fuller, they got a great defense. I really want to get Aaron Jones going quick. I really want to try to minimize Khalil Mack's impact on that pass rush. We have a young receiving core. The 100th season. Appreciate you, Coach. One of the great venues to watch a game in any sport and one of the best home crowds in any sport. Soldier Field. Soldier Field. Chicago. That's what we got to do. It's the Thursday opener for the About to kick off this 100th season with a W. And the Chicago Bears. Good play. Good play. Good play. But he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply took the almost broke that. So I really want to, we'll see what the coach is suggesting here. But I really, let's try to get the RPO going. Hey, Tristan, appreciate it. Watch Adams right here. He's going to be wide open. Oh, maybe not. He got beat in the man. That's all right. All right, Aaron Jones right here. Big run. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Way to start it. And they're going to stop us there, but that's all good. It's all good. And we got Devontae Adams. I really don't want to try to take too many shots downfield early, but Adams makes it so easy. Top three receiver in NFL. Probably, honestly, in my opinion, probably the second best receiver in the NFL. I know that's a homer pick, but there we go. Get Jimmy Graham going. Good mix of run and pass right here. Let's see what the screen sets up because they're stacking that box really good. There we go. Take the first down. Take the first down. No problem there. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. And the Jets six. Three tight end set. Something we haven't shown them yet. And Jay Sternberger, really athletic tight end. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. Run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. A.A. Ron Jones. Big run, dude. We are busting holes right now. That's what I want to see. Let's let Jamal Williams get rolling. Ooh! That was the nicest move I've ever pulled. Now Williams is hurt, so it just ruins everything. Damn it, dude. Why can't it just let me have that? Leave Jones. They're going to blitz me here. Touchdown. First, uh, first touchdown of the season. 
touchdown catch. And the Packers take it right down the field and score. And Williams has a dislocated shoulder. Honestly, I kind of want to make an audible here and see, can we... Dexter Williams. And Jamal's hurt. You know what we're going to do? We're going to make a little audible here. We're going to put Mercedes Lewis in at fullback. And I want Vitaly, who is a really good power rusher, in as the second running back spot. Drive of the season, big time and then we'll see. We'll just kind of see how that plays out. And let's show the titty kisser what for they got a strong pat they got a strong rush rushing too but kenny clark is going to lock him down right there that's what we want to see we want to see that all night let's bring the heat force him to throw here force him to throw oh no yeah, I don't think we're going to get really super complicated here. The problem is when we have a 3-4, we are just naturally weaker against the run. But I want to see... Let's do Predator. And that just put Predator just puts everybody up a little bit closer on the line, including my pass rush. So that way we can kind of see what... Everybody's wide open. Adrian Amos with a good play. Now, see, that's exactly what I want to see. We we want to force Trubisky to throw. Good play by Amos. I thought he was going to cut it up the hole, but he didn't. I want to play a lot of man on these guys. Yesterday, this is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. See, the blitz is getting there, too. We keep getting there. We're going to force turnovers. And this is a guy straight out of college. They're not going to try to groom for a year or two. They want him to produce right away. That's why they took him in the first round. They expect him to be a starter right away and a future all pro. Oh, so they don't he... have any time to wait for him to come along. They want him to play right now to help this team. And you take a look at this three wide receivers. I want to run that nickel. Grades out as a pretty darn good class. And we're gonna so run the Tampa too. Credit to the entire scouting organization, general manager, personnel department. There's Josh Jackson, who I plan to use her a lot. Evaluated it very well and got a nice payoff. Come on, guys. How are you going to let Trubisky run all over you? We're locking him down. All you have to do is contain. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? Let's see if we can press him up the line here. But what else does he do? There we go. By sliding and avoiding the big hit. See, we have all this big play potential. We just got to maximize it. I want to try to really just stay aggressive. Dirty, hey, Wash, thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. Good to see you, man. I missed the old arm of three days. Oh, you guys got to be kidding me. Big hit, though. Big hit. Yeah, man, that's what I was saying. Sometime later on, we should get something together. Run a, uh, run just a little kind of one-off off or two. Nothing serious, just, oh, let me pick it. Come on. Listen, they've had a long ass drive here. As he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. 
It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. Hey, man, I appreciate it. Tried to go draw play out of the gun down here. Yeah, they tried to spread things out, didn't they? They wanted to move people away from the center of the field, away from the line of scrimmage near the ball, so that the runner could find some space unsuccessfully, though. That's <sighs> this defense is falling apart. Down, that sets up a first and goal. Oh, they didn't get the touchdown. Let's blitz, press them at the line, send the house. And Zadarius Smith with the big sack. Zadarius Smith gets him for a loss of 10 yards from his linebacker spot. That's exactly what we want to do all season. They decide to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense... I'm going to keep sending the house. And the defense wins. Oh, nope. They countered. What do you do? That's all right. We... we They really had to fight the score on us there. And we're pretty much scoring with these. So, I know they're trying to control time of possession, but that only works is if you stop us. And so far, they really haven't proven that they can do that. Okay, they just proved they could do that. I thought Rodgers would lead it more. Well, that's all right. It's all good. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. First down, a run with Cohen. You guys got to stop Cohen. Before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Got to stop Cohen. A reminder coming up at halftime. It's the season debut of the coach, Jonathan Coachman, in Orlando. As we look ahead to all the action coming up this opening weekend, of course, we'll also take a look back. There we go. First half. Good pressure, good pressure. Surprise, we didn't call for roughing the passer. But it winds up incomplete. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Yeah, they're going to pull him out to the slot here. It's all good. Here's Trubisky to throw. That's complete to Robinson. Nowhere close. That was the lamest tackle I've ever seen. Five yards that time on the completion. And now it's third and goal. Oh, man, this is... Fumble! Get it, get it, get it! Fuck yeah! Go, Smith, go, Smith, go, Smith. Go, 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 go. Oh, not fast enough. Not fast enough. Good play, though. Good play, dude. That's what this defense is meant to do. Force turnovers. Alright, so we got a minute 26, three times out. Three timeouts. Yeah, can't speak. God, Aaron Jones is just so fast. 14 yards, good for a Packer first down. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. I was trying to run the hole there, but it didn't work. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this Jimmy Graham. Play. On second and nine, Rodgers. That was a super throw. I need to I need to slow it down. All right. Watch for the check down. Watch for the check down. It's all right. We'll take three. That might be a miss. That's a block because it gave me the stupid animation. What the hell? I hate that, dude. Why are field goals scripted? Like, who thought that was a good idea? Knew what they had. That's where they wanted to be. And they got their designated guy turned free. 
So now a chance for points in the opposite direction after the block field goal. Here's Trubisky. Gets this to Good wrap-up tackle. Victory. Good wrap-up tackle there. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. To throw again on second down. Trubisky. And he can't find a receiver. Zadarius Smith. Three sacks, dude. In there to get him yet again. That is Ballin. his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. After that sack, Everybody was so worried about Khalil Mack. Third and long. Now Trubisky on third and long. This is target. It's Taylor Gabriel. That should have been a fumble. Four ticks left here on the clock. Okay, I guess they're going to take one more shot. In here before the quarter breaks. Yeah, let's set the tone. Final play of the half. It's Trubisky. Wow, he caught it. So we have hit half time. Do we get the ball back at the half? I think we do. No, we don't. That's all good. Really enjoying this defense this time around. Really enjoying that. We are back underway in the second half. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because you guys got to do something to stop that run. What do they have dialed up that will give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Cover one linebacker blitz. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on Same first play. Ten. On first down, they go right back to Cohen. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. All right, cover the two man. Run good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Now a shotgun handoff to Cohen. Still going. Take him down, dude. He's inside the 40. Yeah, we're getting toasted by the run. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? It's been a no good game, though. This drive. What is it? Three plays, three first downs. Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they get to the end zone real fast. They'll run on first down. Good play, it's Amos. Going. Good play. Adrian Amos up to make the tackle. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Play action. Now Trubisky. This one into the hands of Burton. 19 yards to pick up. Jair got beat. There are so many things to watch. Storm brave it. Let's do it. And reading your keys, you always hear about that. They're going to keep running. We got to prove we can stop it to force Trubisky to run. And once we force Trubisky to, I mean, Trubisky to throw, it won't be, it won't even be fair. Like, we, like, we'll have him locked. They go play action with Trubisky. Look at that. Zadarius Smith, four sacks. Zadarius Smith, make that now four sacks for him in tonight's ball game. Dude is balling out. Look at this. Look at this pass rush. Flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. They can't stop him. Oh, let's see. After that sack we just saw, Trubisky and the Bears deal with a third and long. From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. He's going to go up top for the end That's zone. out. And that'll wind up. Okay. I thought it was going to call that inbounds. Now it's fourth down. This is a long field goal. No, it's not. Did he okay. miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's Can we get a block? Can we get the block animation? No? Okay. During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. All right, we got to rely on Aaron Jones here. I want to try to get it pitched outside if we can. Nine plays. Yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine play drives pay dividends later with another nine play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. 
Can I get an outside run? Packers offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. I can't wait to see what they have planned. Oh, he got it! Big run! Big run! That's a touchdown run right there by Aaron Jones. God, he is so fun. They kept stacking the box up, and I saw where they were still stacking the linebackers. I just knew if we could get the corner speed, we'd have them. And that run massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. And break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up significantly, right? Big time jaunt all the way to the end zone. I missed that. On the extra point. I feel like we, I feel like the Bears have thoroughly had time of possession, though. It's really like a lot of old school versus new school with this matchup. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And after the field goal last time, let's see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. We'll do deep ball. Uh, I want to try to get the ball. Um, Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal. Cornerback defense. Way better than the alternative. Austin. I want to try to get some trips. I want to force some fumbles. I want to enter this game out of reach. Let's increase the aggression this drive. Try to really put make Cohen a non-factor. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and ten at their own. 25 yard line so let's see they're gonna run it again probably looks like to the right They'll start with a give to Cohen. yeah that's what and I figured a lane there and closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain second down so they had to run for no gain now they'll try all right Kenny Clark on second and ten. still another run play oh nope oh I fucked that all up oh my god dude really I don't know what else I can do. I held A and wrapped him up, and my dude just decided to have a seizure on the field. I hate that shit. That's all right. Let's see if they start sacking the box now. We scored on them. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. I uh, wouldn't let me throw it away, but no one was open. So now Khalil Mack does get a sack. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Try to get comebacks going. Lose that kind of yardage, not a great start. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and twenty. Oh my God, dude! Why did Tay do it? So oh, I just fucked this game all up. It's Bears defense, dude. And I'm playing to my own weaknesses again. All right. Let's get a Aaron Jones the ball back. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he's up in we can't. I, I need to get a deep ball going, though. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27 yard line. To throw, it's Rodgers, eluding the pressure right. And That's all good. Be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. He's only thrown the ball no ten times. Complete. Not a good game for me with Rodgers, but that's all good. Need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Wait, that was not out of bounds. What? Wow, dude. That play, I thought he got it. All right, we gotta, we gotta get the ball back here big time. I just cost us this game. Face mask. All right, you know what? Balance. Let's just shoot ourselves in the foot even more there. The officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. And yeah, you're right. They took out of their Why do I shoot myself in the foot at the end of every game? Fifteen yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. Like, that's twice. I did it last night too. 
And this will probably be the last right. play of the quarter. Get the ball back. And they're going to run the fuck out of this clock right here. The final play of this third quarter. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Yeah, play up on him. Play up on him. They run. This is Cohen. Only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Now third they're just chewing clock. That's all they're two doing. On first down and just one yard there. On third down, Trubisky. And he completes it to Cohen. That's all good. 27, so we can get a touchdown. That's actually, that's we're still in the game. 27-14, two scores, plenty of time left on the clock. We score right here, we can probably do something. I just can't make another stupid mistake like I have been. So, we'll make this right right here. We'll get this. I want to try to get another outside run to Jones. But the AI is going to start playing super conservative and our defense will be able to hold. So obviously we need to conserve clock here. But if I have to put it in my hands over the defense, I will definitely not have any regret doing that. I won't have any issue with it. Face mask, thank God, because he blew that play up. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared Khalil Mack them. trying to make a play. Alright. Aaron Jones has been balling out. We can't we can't sit and run the clock. So. Single coverage, single safety on Ad on Adams. That's a good sign. Jimmy Graham. I wish we got out of bounds. That's okay. Try to get out of bounds here. Oh. All right, we got to stop running. You just call me a bitch? All right, surprise, I actually left that in. Wow, dude. Well, he doesn't even try to make a play on it. Oh, that's game. I should have tripped nickel and diming him. Damn, dude. We had done this so well. We're about to go up against Antonio Browns in the Vikings. That is not going to be a fun game. I mean, they're going to run clock on us, so we need to force a fumble or something. Just strip sack, something. I hate that. I fucking hate that so much. Two minute warning. I mean, we'll get the ball back. If I can score with no timeouts, maybe we can do something, but probably not. That's probably game right there. That's all good. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a third down. Well, you're actually going to run it, I doubt. Oh, they'll down. pass it. They're not going to pass. On third down, a run with Cohen. And he's going to lose the clock. Here. Back to his own 18. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Here's Pat O'Donnell now. That's I actually wonder if maybe we shouldn't have stopped the clock. The game for either team. Fielded just inside the 30. That's the slowest juke move I have ever seen anything anybody pull. 18 yards. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. So Aaron Rodgers in his offense. Down by 13. A minute 46 to go. Field goals useless at this point. They need two touchdowns and they need them in short order. 
You got to catch the ball. You have to catch the ball. Aaron Rodgers, three fourth quarter comebacks last year. That's the most he's had in one season in his entire career. And he's going to need another. And a big loss here as he's taken down. He'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Thank you. Why couldn't you have done that like forever ago? Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Thank you, Gmo. Oh, fuck. Get there. Tackle down at the one. Give him 14 on that one. And a first down. And he takes this. All right, we got 21 seconds. Maybe. Here in the final minute, things get Maybe we can make this interesting. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Yeah. Oh, uh, y'all. We got uh, a. They felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. We got to make a turnover right here. Big sack, the strip the ball, the play the ball. When the team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw Oh, here. actually, no, they're going to deal it out. We're going to take both timeouts, though. An anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Uh, well, we tried. And they take a knee. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout. I'm As I'm disappointed, but I'm disappointed in how I played, not in how the the team performed. Like we should have won that game, and I just well, cost us. For the players, it's good for them to get that first game under their. Belts. Now we got to go so play Antonio Brown's Vikings. Defense played lights out. The regular season, the first game of the year. I mean, we we really tried everything. Everyone was excited. The football was back. And it's just special. You could just feel it. It's so good to have the pigskin back out there. It'll be crisp fall weather before we know it. You got that right, but I love Well, we'll see what we can make happen right. here. All day long anticipating it. Go ahead, I'd like to just go ahead and get game, out of here and the first game of the year. Why did Reddit recommend I join our Philadelphia? So for Chicago, they begin the new campaign with a victory. Damn, it is gonna be ugly. The Darius Smith definitely earned that power rusher Ladies upgrade. Kevin King's doing solid man to man. I'm gonna start working on him on zone a little bit. I wish like on a per play basis I could swap him and Tremont. Yeah, I gotta agree, we didn't live up to the standards. The Darius Smith got that uh, four sack award. I wanna definitely, uh, we gotta play man and we gotta force turnovers. So I think we're gonna keep everything really about the same that we had it. We got to play a really, really aggressive defense here because that's really the only success I think we're going to have. Hey, you two. Calm down. I love having a puppy. All right, so what's the diagnosis on Jamal Williams, too? Because that's going to hurt, and I don't need no... Ooh, I forgot to turn real life injuries off. 
So I signed all these people to the active roster, and there most of them are going to be. Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and place on IR, and let's free up these roster spots. Why did I? I, I, I guess I forgot to turn it off. So yeah, let's go ahead and get Equinemy Saint Brown. Get all these guys on the uh, IR here. They're not already on the IR. Okay, so now we have two roster spots. Looks like Jamal Williams is going to be good to go. So now who do we sign? Thomas Davis. He got cut. Who? What team was he on? Team player, big hitter. Good tackle, 91 hit power, 82 speed. He's not really a pass rusher. He's... And he's not really... Does he make the team better? I think he does, but I think he's going to be better suited for us as a middle linebacker just because of that run-stopping role. So I think that's somebody we're going to take up, pick up. And then what else? I mean, Aaron uh, Richard Rodgers. Maybe bring him back. But we are we we actually we're doing pretty solid. There really isn't anybody I want, but we have roster spots, so we may as well pick up somebody. Courtney Upshaw is past his prime. Is there a rookie? Is there like a who are my younger guys? Bring back Josh Jones after he requested his trade. He does have speed. He'd be a special teamer, though. We really don't have a purpose for him. I really don't know, like, Jakai Polite. Is there a way I can sort by dev? Can we get somebody who just has good dev? Just to have him on the roster? I'm looking through just seeing if there's anybody that really... Ricky Jean Francois was on a former Packer. Blair Walsh, but whatever there. Maybe Dayton, uh, Dayton Jones didn't do shit for us either. Josh Jones. I guess it probably would be good to have some depth at running back. Maybe pick up uh, Orleans here. Put him as a third member of the depth chart just as a... Who do we have to re-sign this year? Let's actually take a look at that. Thomas Davis, Balaga, Mercedes, Crosby, Kyler... Wow, all right, we got a lot of people to resign this year. <sighs> oh, we gotta cut one player, why? That's fine, we'll cut, uh... We'll cut Will Redden. I wanna try to get Lazard in the game, too, but... Oh, we've all been waiting for. Dalvin Cook. Is Antonio Brown hurt? We might have actually dodged a bullet there. Let's look at the injury report real quick. No, he's playing. Alright, let's do it. Let's turn the season around. We just gotta get in a groove on offense. That's really all we gotta do. Keeping up with the Joneses, I'm Jonathan Coachman. This yeah, I think they're going to have trouble with it. Eight sports straight ahead. Aaron Jones, no picnic a week ago. He's looking for another big game, as it'll be the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Green Bay Packers. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We are at the oldest continually operating... 
All right, let's do it. They get the ball first. And let's see what we can do. I want to bring pressure quick. There's no Antonio Brown. Is it? The Vikings picked him up. It said they did. Here's Dalvin Cook, third year back Good place, man. Let me see if he's on the roster, maybe. Okay, he's there. He's number 17. That's right, because he changed his number when he got hooked to the Vikings. Second down. The numbers a week ago. Yeah, keep using auto flip. For Cook. 19 carries, Who's on him right now? Jamon Williams slow ass, but he's got safety help, so I think we're actually gonna control safety here. That's not good. What? Okay, not how you want to use AB, but not my offense. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Good play, good play. Good early stop. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. Great early stop by this team. That's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. This is taken at the 23. All right, good early start. Let's keep riding Aaron Jones, and I want to try to get Aaron Rodgers back up because I know his confidence took a hit. Face mask. Way to start the game. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. Wow, they, they really did get penetration there. Met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that will make it second and 12. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. To his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. Oh, come on. Xavier Rhodes with a pick. Charles, that makes now five interceptions and not even five quarters. Remember, he threw four picks last week. And this yeah, I threw four picks with Aaron Rodgers. Fans, the first thing is, oh, well, we need to change quarterbacks. This is your guy. This is your elite player. Nobody would ever call like for Aaron Rodgers to be benched. I make a little joke and say, you know some big guy? We're going to change the football. So it's obvious that's the problem. It's not you. Keep firing. <laughs> Now, wow, he got beat, but thank God Zadarius Smith got him. Hit him, damn. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. A good pick up there, a 22. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And this one hold in. By Hit him, fuck. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. So second and in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Cousins gives way to Cook. And he'll be brought down at the 40. I'm just trying to shadow A B because Tremont is obviously the mismatch. Oh, Blake Martinez actually is gonna be the mismatch here. They run again on first down. I fucked that up. The Vikings just have so many weapons now. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Now he'll let it go deep right side. Catch and the ball. Incomplete. I hate that, dude. There, but to no avail. Second down. All right, we gotta we gotta get rid of him. Now here's a look at the Green Bay offense. 
durable and dependable, but also elite is left tackle David Bakhtiari. He's only missed six games in his NFL career. He protects Aaron Rodgers' blind side, and he does it so well. In 2018, named first team All-Pro for the first time in his career. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. All right. I'm beginning to wonder if I need to change the playbook up. Back to back incompletions, and that has him staring at Playing man, no safety help. From the gun, it's Rogers. Let's this one rip toward Yeah, I mean, that's safety help. I'm making bad reads. I'm playing really well on defense, but I just cannot get anything going. It's It's just frustrating. I was waiting for AB to get beat, but it looks like Tremont actually had him. 12 yards there, first down Vikings. First down, here's the run with Cook. Give him three on first down. All right, engage eight, big blitz here, but Darius Smith's been getting there. Push that, pinch that line together, pinch that line. It's coming to Cook, but they're going to let the time run out. We really might need to pick up a better receiver. I was really trying not to. Good play, Savage. Good play. Too much contact to hold out of that one, and it's third down. And as a first rounder, a lot of eyes on him, a lot of expectations. And he has to play well in his rookie year. Those days of coddling guys and bringing him along slowly. I got stuck on my guy. I don't think he got it. They're probably gonna give him. Oh no, they didn't. That sucks. Of youth. They got a very good of youth. We're not losing the home opener. Ooh, that's out of bounds. As well. They stuck to their draft philosophy, got the best players they could at the time they were drafting, and inserted them into their lineup. A reminder coming up later tonight, Sunday night football, a good one from Atlanta. Eagles and Falcons, 820 Eastern. Oh, Aaron Jones needs football. you to keep carrying this team, buddy. Back in New York, back in MetLife Stadium. Browns and Jets, 8:15 Eastern on Monday night. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. Big run. I should have kept cutting it to the outside. That would have been a touchdown. 13 yards, first down, Packers. He's obviously a bit of a shorter running back. And sometimes when he goes up the middle like that, he gets lost in there and then he pops out for 10, 20 yards. I actually asked NFL linebackers if that was true. Do you actually lose sight of some of the smaller running backs? All of them confirmed that that can be a problem. Think of it this way. Keep on the ball. Hey, that's enough. In NFL history, Emma Smith, Barry Sanders, both 5'10". And we got Grant coming up here. From the 44. Rogers, this is Siri, get off me. What are you doing, dog? It's Ryan Brand. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Shotgun now for Rogers. I just, while I was trying to actually just get back to make it not that bad, I thought I could get back to the line and take the hit. The defensive tackle getting in there for a loss of five. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Good RPO. They'll wind up getting 10 back there as it'll leave them with a third and five. Play action. It's Rogers. And he finds Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys so Rogers X Factor is active, so now we can probably take a shot downfield. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, 
You put it all together, you've got a heck of a tight end candidate. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in the second week of the regular season. Touchdown. Got him in. Open, it's Adams. Touchdown, Green Bay. Devontae Very nice. Adams. Yeah, Rodgers' X-Factor ability when he can't get picked off on 50-50 balls is fantastic. That really plays to my play style. Cousins now to throw on first down. That one into the hands of Thielen complete. And he's taken down. Thank you, Doobie. Appreciate it. Across the 35. It's a gain of 11 as the Vikings pick up the first. You would love this, man. Cousins. Smith has four sets. That's a fumble. Who got it? Was that... Preston Smith. This, this defense is playing so lights out right now. Working out of the gun, Cousins. The Vikings going to signal for the first to their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly. Although that was fourth down. Before halftime. Cousins from the gun on third. Oh, Antonio Brown finally got him. Good play, Amos. Good play. A big play there just before halftime. 44 yards. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely love for. How about that? that was, Guys, play tight defense. The big tight end for a Viking touchdown. It's all right. We got time now. Kyle Rudolph. We got time to score. Rodgers has his, should still have Gambler activated, so we should be pretty straight. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Looking deep for Adams. Yeah, I knew that one wasn't going to get there. I just wanted to take the shot just in case he did. That's all right. Adams, the intended receiver. And now it's we still got three timeouts to work with. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Now a draw play. This is Jones. Damn. He'll just keep Nowhere to go. On the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. I had turbo too Vikings soon. The will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And he drops it. Right and that's going to be in the ball free, and it's fourth down. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, relying on your special All right. teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. Yeah, we're going to play pretty much some really uh, some man zone here. A touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of it. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the... And, that's caught inside the and now Tremont Williams is going to get beat on AB. I need to sub him out. I think I might need to put... Why is he out there, actually? Why is... Did they get rid of my depth chart changes? Because it should be... Not Tremont Williams. It should be uh, Kevin King. Has King not even been getting starts? Okay, cool. So it just got rid of my roster changes. Who's my slot corner? Josh Jackson. So it just decided to put Tremont Williams in head. As it comes with nine seconds. Yeah, I want the slowest possible. So even though it's first down, here's the field I want the slowest possible the receiver on Antonio Brown. Brown. That's or corner. That's exactly what I wanted. As it comes in the waiting moment. At least Kevin King has reach. Okay, so they got it. Why not? Shot before half for Rodgers. Looking deep for Adams. And that'll Why did none of my receivers try to get it? They just sat there and looked at it. But it's second down. No, I'm not mad at you for 
we're skipping halftime. I don't care if you're mad at me or not. Just have a sip of water real quick, please. Thank you. All right, let's go. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go. All right, let's get the run game field. going again. Have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is. Right? I don't want Try to get the screen going. more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. God, he is just nasty with that juke move. The end zone and back into this game. Let's we'll see if that script is a good one for him. A gain there of 21 yards. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen were there faking people out. None of my receivers are all of my receivers are afraid to take hits. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. And that's why. That's why. And the Vikings pick up the football. And his guys are gonna take over at their own. Wow. Good starting field position for the Vikings. What a joke, high Siri. Just shy of midfield at the 48. Pretty solid run here on first down. So now they're going to score again. First, so we've already lost this game in the third quarter. Short, a gain of 10 as they look to Siri, get off me. This 10 point lead. On second and inches, Cousins. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. They'll run it. Here's Cook. Wow. He's got the first down here inside the 30. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the um, first and We were going really good until the Vikings with Antonio Brown forced a fumble. So it was going well. Siri, get out from the back of my computer. Alright, so we're not giving up on it, but we got to do something. Yeah, that it's pretty nasty. And we had held Cousins to one touchdown until... And we're just going to completely overthrow Adams. But the passing game right now for them, not overly impressive. Last week he hit on right at 50%. This week he's under 50%. And it's not just on them. Protection, deep breakdowns along the way. That's made him get off the spot. Receivers not getting their way open downfield. We'll post drag. We got to keep trying. Get together and find ways to we got to score right here and, and then get a stop. Rodgers now on first down. That's a touchdown. Maybe not. Oh, and Fish, you also forgot uh, Cook in the backfield. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well and get a few stops. Yeah, we were uh, we were doing pretty good. We're 0-1 right now. Yeah, Lamar Jackson is ridiculous. Just don't pick it. Just don't pick it. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Damn, none of these look good, but we're going to try it. Yeah, I knew that wasn't going to get there. We got to try for it. No, actually, we'll take the field goal. As long as we get points. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments. All right, so we need to get the ball back. 
And we can't let AB run all over us. So I think we're going to really try to switch direction, do man with safety help, because we are really good with the man, and just hope pressure gets there. They're going to start running the ball pretty hard, though. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he's upended after a game. And that's what we got to do right there. They'll try to quick hit her inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally. Pick it, Jackson! Pick it! Didn't happen on that play. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Pick it, y'all. It's all right. We got the ball back quick. That's what matters. Defense just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. Colk went on to kick as he sends it away. This is brought in at the 20 -1. Just don't fumble. Just don't fumble. I want to try to get another pitch outside and try to really keep going and get Aaron Jones going. back out there. Aaron and his Packer teammates set to begin their drive. He's played well. Good first half. He's continued that here in the third quarter. But my question is, when you're a head coach, what do you look at stat line-wise for your card? Do you go right to turnovers? You really do. As much as coaches don't want to talk about that, that's where it starts. When I played in college, our first rule for every game the team making the fewest mistakes will win. And that's kind of how they judge you. Do you take care of the ball, not turn it over? Thank you, Adam. Good catch, good catch, good catch. A gain of 28 yards there and give him the first down. I should have picked up AB. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 43. Back now at Lambeau. It's the Packers who have the football but in need of points as we begin quarter number four. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And it's knocked No away pass interference. That's all I was kind of what I was going for. Looking to erase a two-score deficit here in fourth quarter. Going for some big plays. Yeah, they certainly were. They just if I keep getting a one-on-one -on -one matchup on uh, Adams, I'm going to take it. But how about the defense? Because as long as I have that ability. Looking at the scoreboard realizing what could hurt us most, the deep shot. They played it well. Yeah, we'll try that. But right now, I was just going to try while we had the X Factor, just try to get lucky with the shot. That's a bad fucking throw. All right, we can come back, though. Defense is holding really well. That's where the return stops. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and ten at the forty. Cousins the throw. That's complete. To we'll the get it. We'll field. get it this time. A gain of six there on first. As long as we get a stop right here, we'll get the ball right back, and I can still get down the field. Oh, Jackson, you got to pick that, buddy. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. Uh, they might run it here. But we think we're going to hold where we're at. Yeah. Play action. And they got the first. That's all right. We'll get it back. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Have confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take Good pass defense. At this point, you just go ahead and play. You know, for them being as stacked as they are as wide receiver, we really have locked them down. I'm trying to take away the positives here because it's really been my play on offense. I, I, I think I'm going to have to change playbook or something. I'm not liking the playbook or running at all. As soon as I compliment the defense, they're going to let Dalvin Cook run all over us. So we might not even get the ball back. You guys got to stop him. Oh, we hurt Dalvin Cook. That's a good start. 
Looks like we've got a Viking slow to get up. Three of the best wide receivers in the league. But no, I agree. You have to pick your poison. I'd rather die by the run than die by the pass. Oh. I had to go for it. I had to try to get the pick six. Yeah, so they're going to score again. We're going to get blown out. I was really hoping we wouldn't go 0-2 again, but it's just especially two division losses. But I got nobody at receiver. I'm going to make a trade, and I'm going to try to really – I'm going to try to get this going the way I want it to. We might try the uh, Raiders playbook, which is what I used a lot of Madden 19. Sad part is that I need to stop right here, and I need to keep my time out. So we're gonna try to force a fumble. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They've got a second and goal now as they look to add a few more points here onto their total. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. I gotta take time out. I really don't want to. Stop here with 154 left as they call the timeout defensively. This has been a long drive. You gotta figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? This is cool. Yeah, so either way, I mean, it's gonna be a three score game. We're not gonna block a field goal. Head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. But at least we can say we tried. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So with that, you figure that yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen. And you want to be here. Well, I was really hoping that uh, maybe we could cut it back outside. But it is what it is. I think probably because I'm, I think I'm at just getting blind to it. I think we'll probably pick this back up tomorrow after this game with the playbook. Um, holding, coming back anyway. Siri, boom, knock it off. That's definitely but disappointing, though. That the ball came out, just throwing it out there. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I'm just making. I'm not even like making reads anymore. I'm just. It is what it is. I think we're gonna try to make some trades and get this thing set up, but we have not been. Oh wow, Allison caught it. Putting on the pressure, the backside being ball hacks and picking passes off. On first down, Rogers. He's gonna let it fly. If that got picked, I would have just rage quit. Took a shot there yeah, it was PI, no doubt about it. So a line of scrimmage still at 39 on second and ten. Throwing again. Rogers escaping the pressure right. Lazard, you got to catch that, dude. I, I hate that if the receivers get touched, they can't catch a ball. Like, these guys get paid to make con like make the catches through contact. Like, it's just stupid. I mean, I, know, I have not played well. I have not played well on offense. I have not had the talent to make this playbook work. It's a lot of spreading the field, and we've been getting shut down by really good corners. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They yeah, I mean, maybe. Maybe that's what I need to do. But so they tried to go for it for five. Let's go ahead and get out of here, and I'm going to make some changes to the playbook. So the final seconds have ticked away in this Minnesota oh, we'll back victory. Back it away here. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that. That's, uh... That's pretty pretty frustrating, that's for sure.
Appreciate all five of you guys watching on Twitch here. Um, it's been a lot of fun here. I'm not the way I really want to go this, but this is probably the most successful viewers on Twitch. If you guys like this stuff, uh, you know, I've streamed Madden two, three times a week, two or three times a week. I got my stream schedule posted. If you guys would follow, that'd be great. It means a lot. Um, but yeah, I think that's... Uh, We got to do something. That's two division losses to start the season, but at least we got the Broncos to bounce back against. Who's the X fact? Oh, they got Andrew Luck. We'll shut down Andrew Luck. We'll neutralize Andrew Luck. Hold him to 150. We can do that because the Broncos really don't have that many wide receivers. We got to pay Belaga. What's Belaga going to want? How much cap room do I have? He wants two years and he's 30. When can I see the draft? Oh, this week. Uh, we'll come back to Belaga. Connection's been lost. Did it just kick me? I want to load the roster. Okay, I guess we can't do that. I really wanted to, uh... Alright, let's do Autogen Rookies and then LS. Okay. I don't want to import a local file. I want to. Okay, or it can completely kick me out. What the fuck? Um. Oh, it's jacking up again now because I accidentally put on my pedals. Yeah, I have to restart my computer to fix that, but we're going to try to at least get this roster to load real quick. Apparently can't do that. All right, well, we got technical difficulties because we're picking up my wheel. So I think we're going to go ahead and call the stream tonight. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, and I think we're probably going to pick this off before we uh, really start the, franchi the Dolphins franchise. So we'll be back tomorrow for that. Um, if you guys like this content, like I said, please feel free to follow. It means a lot. really helps the channel. I uh, spent a lot of time trying to really develop my stuff. Um, that's really all I got. So thank you guys again for coming out. Thank you guys for supporting. And uh, everybody have a great night. And we'll be back again tomorrow. So uh, peace.